Hello. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am so happy to see you all here, so close to me. It's such a pleasure. I am so happy to welcome you to this very special night. I hope you got already your special drinks from our very special crew. We are very happy to have you here tonight. Tonight is the first part of our graduation festival. Because sometimes if you swim again across the Pacific, it starts to make sense. Also, the last time we are performing within the frame of the SNDO. We are all in our last year, and that's a graduation festival. So, also, it's my last work here in the SNDO. I was longing for this night for quite a while. I haven't performed a solo for, yeah. quite a time. So tonight, tonight I'm going for it. This moment reminds me, this moment reminds me now, especially with all these people very close, looking at you, um, it reminds me a moment, a situation four years ago. It was in 2011, March 11. I think most of us remember what happened that day. Fukushima, the earthquake in Japan. I was doing the audition for the s and over that day. In the audition, you normally have this moment, normally, you always have this moment where you show a solo of three minutes. I was singing a song, a song by Pegolesi. I don't know if he's familiar to you. He's not that fancy anymore. He's, I mean, he's still fancy, yes. He's a little older from the 18th century. And it sounded something like
13 years ago, I was living in France, volunteering in a psychiatric hospital. One day, I wanted to audition for a choir. I really wanted to be part of this choir, so I went to the audition. And I came there and the conductor said, well, um, bienvenue. Uh, great that you are here. Please uh, take the partition and sit down in the best section. So I was taking the score and going to the other man, sitting down. And then we were starting to sing. And I remember we were singing Bach. But as soon as we got further in the, parti in the score, partition, uh, we came to this moment where I couldn't really get the low tones. It was really, really hard, and I had to stop before everybody else was actually finishing. Then the conductor said, okay, uh, no problem. Look, you have a very high speaking voice. Maybe you just move uh, to the tenors. Okay, I moved to the tenors and um, we continued with the score. But there I kind of... So when we went up in the higher sections, it, I couldn't really get it. And then the conductor said, well, maybe then you just move on and sit with the ladies. And here I am. Actually, if you, you know, like, it's, it's super cozy here. I really love it. But if you, if you, you know, feel free also, like, to sit down. If you get, like, neck pain or something, it can be kind of annoying in the theater. So um, there's a lot of space still there. So whenever you, you know, if you are happy there, then just... When I was a kid, we were living in this huge apartment. It was the heart of this beautiful building from the end of the 19th century. Red, shining stones, like bricks. Very monumental architecture, almost British Empire style. This house was built from the church for the representatives of the community. My father is a reverend. That's maybe an inform important information. That's a Protestant priest, the ones who are allowed to have kids. We lived in the first floor, and my father decided very early to have his office actually in the apartment. He thought it was a good thing. 
not to have it down in the ground floor next to the administration offices of the community, but in the heart of his private space. He wanted to make a favor and say, my house is open at any moment. You can come whenever you want. I am available for you and the community and at your service. When somebody, when somebody was ringing the bell of our apartment, my father got always alarmed and said, no, they're coming for me. As soon as this somebody was entering our apartment, crossing our hallway in order to get to his office, there was this bizarre atmosphere. There was this public body entering. And I understood I have to change my attitude because the bishop is coming, or this person who wants to commit suicide, or the mayor, or politicians, or all kind of friends and enemies of my father. And then I understood that the hallway is not your space. And you should be quiet and shut up and go back to your room. My father is quite an impressive person. He's 72 by now. He's tall like me. And his workspace is this huge amazing building red thick pillars out of volcanic stone <laughs> 22 meters high ceiling huge gothic colored window letting through the light in order to be reflected on the walls When you are exposed for 16 years, hearing the voice of your father <laughs> penetrating the space where every word becomes ultimate, where every reverb lasts for at least three seconds. Where every sound becomes matter. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. The law of God is written the heart. <coughs> but when man abandons God, as revealed in creation, when man abandons God as revealed in conscience, when man abandons God as revealed in holy scripture, suppressing the truth, God judges that society. The heart becomes darkened when God is abandoned. And then God abandons the darkened heart. We exist as a church to proclaim the kingdom of God. We have been given the keys to the kingdom of God. Jesus declared that to his apostles. 
I give you the keys to the kingdom of God. Our responsibility is to tell people about the kingdom of God and who can be in the kingdom of God and who is excluded from the kingdom of God. That's the ministry of the church. That's what we do. That's what a preacher must do. And I'm not the one who makes the turn. I'm only the one responsible to God to proclaim what God has revealed. <coughs> and I'm here to tell you that if you advocate a life of sexual sin, adultery, fornication, <laughs> effeminateness, or homosexuality, you may not inherit the kingdom of God. You may not. <laughs> and we are here in love to speak love speech and say you must escape the rock to come by repenting and fleeing your sins and you will be washed and transformed and justified in the name of Lord Jesus Christ Father we are so grateful that you have not left us in doubt about these things which are part of life for us. I pray that you will use us to bring the glorious gospel to people in these horrible chains of homosexual behavior who have no family, no future, no hope, who live with massive guilt, pain, agony, driving unleashed passions that you would come powerfully through the instrumentation of your people <laughs> to bring the gospel that alone can save them. Be glorified, Lord. Turn the tide with your truth and your gospel. Save people caught in not only this sin, but in all kinds of sins that are so popular in this culture. Give the gospel a fresh hearing. We ask for your glory in Christ's name. Amen. Father, we are so grateful that you have not left us in doubt about these things which are part of life for us. Father, I am so grateful that you have not. Father, we are so grateful that you have not left us in doubt. Father, I am so grateful. Father, I am so doubtful about that you have not left us in doubt about these things which are part of life for me that you are so doubtful about that I am not having part of this life of this who is excluded from that I am not like part of this excluded from that I am not like part that you would come powerfully through the instrumentation of powerfully through the instrumentation powerful that you would come that you that you that you that, that you would come that you that you that you that you would come that you would come that you would come Powerfully, that you would come powerfully. <laughs> powerfully, that you would come. That you come powerfully. Through the instrumentation of your father. Fuck! No future, no family. No, then no future. No family, no home, no future, no massive, 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 massive. Turn the time. Turn the tide with you, truth and the gospel. Turn the fire. Yeah. Fire. 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 Give the gospel a fresh hearing. Give the gospel a fresh hearing. Fresh. It can be washed and transformed and transformed and transformed. Washed, washed, wash, 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 wash,
Oh, 